Hey guys, so today I figured I'll bring you along while my babies are sleeping for their nap, bring you along to um, feed my annuals and my container plants. Uh, so I will show you the food that I give my plants like a tri-weekly, but usually it's like bi-weekly. But I get the Stalgreen plant food, instant feed. Um, so this watering can I think is like two gallons maybe. And so I end up using two tablespoons of this. Now it's different for like indoor plants and stuff, but for outdoor plants, it's two tablespoons um, for a, I guess you would say an average size watering can. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that in there. And it comes like, it's the blue and it comes with the little cap for your tablespoon measuring. So I'll just put two of those in. usually takes me a couple times of doing this to get all my plants because um, I have quite a few but this is the garden today it's bright and sunny out so it's not the best lighting for like a tour or anything but the Veronica are looking fabulous now they're all starting to bloom out and looking really really good so you can kind of see it a little better now that I'm in the shade at the moment but yeah all looking really good so I'm just gonna put in a little bit of water there's the Veronica bloom right there oh that's so pretty okay so I'll just put in a little bit and then I'm gonna just kind of shake it just to get all that off the bottom and make sure it's good and equal equally distributed throughout the can so just make sure it's mixed And I know some people don't do it, but even my perennials that I have in containers, I'll usually give them a little judge of this at least once a month. I don't usually do it bi-weekly like my annuals that I have in pots, um, but the perennials, I do try to do it like once a month at least. Just give them a little bit of, yeah, a little bit of love through the season while it's getting hot. That's almost full. And then, um, I haven't watered them in quite a little bit, like probably like three weeks now. So we're gonna water all of them. So I have a eucalyptus right here that we'll just give a little bit to. Um, and then I have a hydrangea. I'll just give a little bit. And then this is a White Nancy Lamium. And it'll kind of like beat it down a little bit, but it'll come back. It's just got the slightest, smallest little bloom on it right there. I thought it was going to bloom a little better than it has, but that's okay. And then this White Impatient, I actually cut back the front of it. Um, now I gotta cut back the back of it too, but it's coming out nicely. And then our double pink begonia. This, I got this actually as a hanging basket and I just made it into a, um, I just took it out of the hanging basket and put it in here because I don't have anywhere to hang a basket. So I love this begonia. It's so pretty. Okay, and then this is another big leaf hydrangea here. It's massive and it's kind of wilty. It's been a couple days since I've gotten out here and really watered the plants here. Okay, and then I'm gonna skip this because it's more of like a cactus type like it doesn't like a whole lot of water it's actually my son likes to water it because it's his flower and it's really it's pretty wet in there so but it's really pretty <laughs> but yeah that's his and then the ponytail palm down here water that one. all right so then from there i'm just gonna give these heather these mexican heather 
This is the Sophia. I'm gonna give them a little bit. I did plant them in like a compost blend. But I'm still just gonna give them a little bit of extra here. Okay. And then I have some lemon coral sedum in that planter up there, but I am not going to feed it. Um, it has, just because it's a sedum, like I'm not gonna feed it, but it's just about done with its bloom cycle this year. So here pretty soon I'll cut all these back and then you can see all the new um, sedum growth up under the, where they were. So it's looking really good. Um, but next we'll go over around, oh, sorry, there's a helicopter, <laughs> but next we'll go over around the, um, flagpole, which we need a new flag for, but we'll go around here and water our wave white petunias. And really, I, I don't know, every time it rains, I end up having to come out and fix this um, compost that I made, like I've kind of made it into mulch out here just because I feel like it's, you know, it's better than actually buying mulch, it's cheaper. And it, it kind of does the same thing. Like eventually it will break down and become like this chippy wood kind of material. Like, you know, like a, a, um, the mulch would be, but like a fine mulch, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But every time it rains, I have to come out and fix it. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Eventually I may, it is kind of like on a slope. So I may kind of try to build it up maybe next year and see if that'll fix it. And maybe put like a little border around it. I don't know. We'll see, but it just rained yesterday, and so it all moved again, but that's okay. But yeah, these wave petunias, though, they're looking so good. They're really bulking up. The past few days, it's been really, really hot, um, so they're looking really good. The only downside that I can say about wave petunias is, as you can see, you do have to come out and like deadhead and get the old off. But I mean, it's okay. This is out near the flagpole. So I don't see this all the time every day. So it really doesn't bother me that much, really. But um, that is one of the downfalls to the waves. Um, but yeah, I think that will be it for the front and then I just have a few in the back um I was just going to show you an update though on this beautiful climbing I, I want to say it's an iceberg rose I'm not really sure but my mom's climbing rose it is so so pretty so let me just show you guys that and see look at it it is so pretty. There's one like spent bloom on it, but look at these roses. Oh my goodness. They're, mm, they're some of my favorites. Um, and the fact that like I cut this down to where it ended, you can see where I cut it to transplant it for my mom's house. Um, like that wasn't there. Like all of that was cut and let's see, where was the cut made on this one? Right back there. And all of this is just the new growth from this year. Like, and it's still going. It looks so, so good. And I'm so happy. Um, here pretty soon I'll do a video on how I like train it to the trellis here. But, cause there's a few that I could train over but yes it's looking so so good and glorious but yeah i think that is about it for today um but i hope to see you guys in the next one
Bye.